And then she's like, oh, well, I guess I would take one. <laughs> Hey guys, Lexi here, and well, today's gonna be another day in the life of, but not my life, Hunter's life. Hi guys. I thought it would be fun for us to follow him around on what a day in the off season is like, because technically there is no off season. I guess I'm gonna pass it on over to Hunter. Hey guys, today is a day in life with me. You didn't really get the day in life of because I was up when the sun was coming up. It was and, only 7.30 on a Saturday. And somebody was just snoozing and snoozing and I had already eaten by the time she came down. Who was snoozing? Me, I'm an off season. There is off season for the wife. She's an off season, she says. So we're doing this F Factor diet, Alexis likes it. So I'm eating all this fiber, drinking tons of water and Carmen is working her tail off in the kitchen. Myron, what do you gotta say for yourself? Good morning, one and all. Last night, me and Alexis built the garden. Mm -hmm. We went to Home Depot. We got sweet red onions. We got sweet pepper. We got cilantro, broccoli, and what was it, parsley? Anyway, we planted them outside. That was pretty cool. Then we had a fire. We, we well, we had a fire in the fireplace. And we sat by the fire and listened to classical music. So today's gonna be a good day because we planted a garden yesterday and we sat by the fire and we had a good night. We've been uh, we've been doing this new thing with no screens uh, at least an hour before bed. No iPads, no phones, no screens. No TV. No nothing. TV. And it's been awesome. Like so awesome. You don't even realize how nice it is to just have one on one time and silence and stillness in the house and just we're telling stories, we're making up stories. The experiment has been an A plus experiment. But let's get into today. Enough about yesterday. So my schedule is a little bit off because it's Saturday and you know, trainers and hitting coaches have a life and Doug Lott is going to see his son play a baseball game. So we're not hitting early in the morning. We're gonna hit after our workout, which is good. It's good to mix it up. So we're gonna go see Marlon at 11.30. I played with him in 2015. And we really got along because he's really into physical, like he's crazy smart about the body. And when he retired, he started like visiting all of these amazing minds in the fitness industry and he's just passionate about it. So he is actually the one who kind of found Doug Lotta, the hitting coach that I'm working with, who in turn, like he played with Justin Turner in the Mets. But there's a lot of people who are really good hitters that I can't really name that have worked with them and understand the philosophy. So I'm like super honored that I'm getting to learn it. And it's taken me a long time. I've failed a whole bunch, but I'm really like breaking through. Like we're in an exciting time. So I'm excited to bring you guys on these days. So we're gonna work out with Marlon and then we're gonna go hit with Doug Lotta. And then, there's no more and then. And then we chill. All right, well I hope you guys have fun watching this day and uh, here we go. See you later. All right, well, we're in the car and we're headed exactly where we said we were headed. We're headed to Marlins, to Marlin Bird's place. I think it's called Float Fitness. Gonna chill, enjoy my chai tea. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do it. Okay, so yeah, the uh, workout today was really hard, and I didn't want to like admit this, but like I almost puked. I was like super dizzy, and it hurt really bad. <laughs> but usually, I I always am working out alone, and then on weekends sometimes I get to work out with some of his favorite, you know, high school, college athletes. I have to like really be on and like try to like represent the major league players pretty good. Like we're in good shape, so it was uh, it was definitely tough. It was awesome working out with him, but yeah, I almost puked. But I feel good, and it was a great workout. All right, so we're back after the workout, and we are having a kale salad made by Carmen. Look at this thing; it's not easy to make. What'd you do, Carmen? <laughs> A lot. All right. Kale salad to start. Getting refueled for hitting. I think we also have what? Chicken? Honey Crispy dip, chicken right? with honey dip. Honey mustard. We're so spoiled. Carmen spoils us so hard. Also, I got myself a hunter made chai latte. Mmm. Makes me so happy. And I'm using the oatly oat milk that Carmen 
fought hard to get because you can't even find it ever. She had to go pick up something for a lady with a baby who had five of them. And she was like, oh, what's that? You got the oat milk? Mm, they're just out of it. She's like, oh, would you like one of mine? She got one. Now I'm enjoying it. You took it from a lady and her baby? Mm -mm. No, I said to her. No, she, she said, just, she have. helped her when she dropped something. Yeah, and then it was like, oh, look something. at this oat milk. And she's like, oh, would you like one? She's like, oh, no, I wouldn't want to take milk from your baby. She's like, no, it's for my coffee. <laughs> That's how we got it. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard in the streets. It's hard in the whole food aisle. Trying to get that oat milk, the coffee life, man. Everyone knows. And it's like off the shelves immediately. She had five of them. She knows. It makes all the difference. It's like, it's like you guys had to know that. You had to know. Yeah, All right, too. here we have it. The chicken, and if you were wondering, if you ever asked yourself, what is the best dipping sauce in the world? Carmen called it the best dipping sauce in the world. I can't wait to try it. Look at Alexis being fancy, forking a knife in her chicken fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her, forking a knife in the dipping sauce chicken fingers. It's like eating a fork and knife with Snickers. It's totally the fork and knife with your Snickers. Mm -hmm. Look at your boy. He's a savage. He's just dipping it and using his fingers. I mean, come on. Am I? Yeah. Apparently, I'm cool with my sunglasses. They're your sunglasses. I know, but they look cooler on you. They're actually Mal sunglasses. Oh, they're Mal. They're not even. Yeah. Thanks, Mal, for sunglasses. We had a little lull in time, and I figured, you know, sitting outside just makes me feel good. And this backyard is just awesome. Look, like, they're so perky. Oh yeah. So we built this garden yesterday. We built this. We got soil. We bought these little things, and we planted. We got. Is this cilantro right here? Parsley, parsley. That's cilantro. cilantro parsley. parsley. Onions. R red, sweet red onions. They're starting to perk up a little bit. Yeah, they are. Look at. It. Yep. They must like the sun. Sweet peppers. Here's sweet peppers. Broccoli. And then a whole bunch of broccoli all over the place. We got the veggie garden that we built yesterday. You accomplish so much more when you get off the screens. Like you just want to do stuff. And there's like more time in the day. I'm just going to sit over here. So I got a little foot rest. And Alexis likes to lay on this other one. It's like 10, 20 minutes. I already meditated this morning. That happened. I do that. But just sitting outside, it's not really meditation, not really anything, just hanging out in the outdoors until I go hit. That's what we're doing. Check you later. Let's go, Hunter. Hunter Ben! That was how they announced me in the Dominican. It's awesome. awesome guy. Like, His voice was actually like yeah, beautiful. It really was. He was like amazing. He'd be like, Hunter Ben. So I think he spoke in Spanish, and then he'd go, Let's go, oh, Hunter. Hunter. Let's go. All right, so we're going to hit, and yesterday was one of the best hitting days I've had. Some good breakthroughs, so I'm excited. No expectations, just coming with, you know, trying to improve on that. And I think it's just awesome, like, because I've been working on it and working on it, and I've had good days, and I've had a lot of bad days, and I learned a lot of stuff throughout this whole off season. It's been amazing, and I'm so excited to put all of this to work in spring training. And I'm, I'm actually pretty excited. I'm excited that it's close. I'm excited that we're talking to teams and I'm excited to see what the future holds. I'm ready. Am I nervous? Well, I'm glad you asked. Are you nervous? I'm not nervous about like what team we're going with or where we're gonna end up. I'm not nervous about any of that. Yeah. It's not like a bad feeling. It's just like I know there's work that needs to get done. So back to the here and now. We're headed to hit and I'm focused on that and I'm ready to rock. But did you hear me? It's not a bad thing. No, I heard you. It's not a bad thing, but I'm saying back to the here and now. Let's get ready to hit. Like, I gotta get focused. Like, I don't just go to hit it. Yeah, right. We gotta get today's about homework done. All this done. other stuff. Yeah, we gotta get today's homework done. Yeah. I wanna be like thinking ahead of it and. And I want to just be feeling good and excited about the, the adjustments from yesterday and looking forward to bringing them into today. And that's what we're going to do. Let's get better. We saw. thumbs up it's been the new adjustment has been so clean it feels so good and it's so fun Doug is like such a sweet guy he is he is a sweetie he's just like so sweet that was two thumbs up 
It was good hitting. We feel good. Da -na 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 -na. Really good. I knew that I would. Da -na 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 -na. So now we're headed home. So good. Gonna have a snack, shower up. Yeah, I need to shower. Wait I for dinner sweat. and plan what we're gonna do tonight. I like how this day in the life has turned into my day in the life. <laughs> yeah, Lex is, it's still kind of basically your day in the life. Day in the life of Hunter. All right, Thanks. so we'll see you at home. All right, Hunt, you had your snack. It's around five o'clock. Uh, showered up. I'm losing my voice a little bit, probably because uh, today was a very intense day. Yeah, it was a good day, uh, good swings, good workout, getting tougher, getting stronger, and then now we just got dinner, and it's pretty much a simple life from here on out. Carmen's cooking enchiladas, and I'm trying to hydrate because I'm on this F factor. Gotta drink water, I just had a fiber pizza. That includes a fiber cracker. Tomato sauce, cottage cheese, cottage and parmesan. Cottage cheese and parmesan. That's my pizza snack. It was good, so there you have it. It's not a wrap yet. We're not over. And it was good, but we didn't film it. <laughs> Carmen made enchiladas, and they were the best enchiladas ever. I'm gonna show you the dish right here. That is what is the remnant of a crazy enchilada. She made the tortilla. She made it wrong, she said, because she put the cheese in with making the tortilla, and somehow it came out great. It was like really sweet, and now, we're going to start a fire with these three little logs, which is right here. Mm -hmm. Little logs right here. There you go. We're gonna have fire and story time, and basically. Oh, the cheese was supposed to go outside the enchilada, not inside. I had three and a half because I ate half of Alexis's, and they were big enchiladas. So we're pretty tired. We were thinking about going to see Mary Poppins, but just like today was a lot of work. So we're just gonna chill by the fire, hang out as a family, and uh, call it quits. So that's a wrap. Thank you guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed following me and Alexis throughout this day. Yeah, it was fun for me. Take it easy, catch you later.